Hello, it's Sarah. I'm doing a different type of video today. Uh, I've been watching Froggy Flips and he asked people to put out a soy pod video or show off your pile of death. So I have not yet made it to six sales. I had several days that were a sale every day and then just nothing. But I'm also not listing anything because the month hasn't turned over yet and I don't have any free listings and I'm still on the fence about whether to go for a store or not and follow me and you'll find out why. So this is my kitchen that I'm currently in. This is where I make meals, school my children. Um, I do everything pretty much on this countertop. I sew. I'm here all day long. This is also where I list. This is where I take pictures on my dining room table. And there's a muffin for one child who's not awoken yet. Um, we do school here. I do eBay listing here. I do my sewing on this table. Pretty much everything happens. And we are a family of six. So um, this is the living room. And this is where I sew my great-grandmother's sewing machine. But where do I do eBay? So, lots of mess. I'm cleaning out, putting away winter stuff. This is my death pile currently that is waiting on April 1st to happen. I have a TV stand, which I've already listed some of the other TV parts. I have some parts to a Gen Air cooktop, a glass took cooktop that broke. Um, my neighbor knows that I sell on eBay and her cooktop, she dropped something on it and it cracked. So they could not get the glass replaced and they just got a whole new cooktop. So they gave it to us, we took it apart and threw out the glass, and I have the burners, which are out in the garage, but um, I plan to list them, you know, at the beginning of April. And some kids' shoes, a handheld game, a couple of Wii U games, a golden book, and nothing else here is for sale. The rest of the stuff is my crafting stuff. <laughs> because I like to craft, and so, and then I will show you where I keep the rest of my eBay stuff. Yup, in the attic. Hold on. So, I have boxes labeled A, B, C, and D. Then I have a couple other things that are not in boxes cooler's not for sale, but um, I have, this is all stuff that is already listed. Electric blanket, a Wii Fit, uh, I don't know. There's a pair of shorts. You can't see anything that's in here, but I have a lot of random items. My store doesn't make any sense, but as you know, most of my um, sourcing is from our house and just things that we don't want anymore. I do have these, which I haven't listed yet. They are humongous, giant pine cones. There is a tree that grows on our road that grows these. And um, the nurse flipper was the one who actually pointed out that you can collect things from outside and do some free sourcing. So I did collect these. I think they'd be great for like Christmas decorations or some kind of craft project. Sorry for the noise. Anyway, I have a box of them. That's about the biggest one. But I think they're really pretty. This one is really beautiful. But I haven't looked those up yet. I don't know how much I'm going to list them for. My only other death pile is right here. I have a box of some items that I have not listed. And some of these items are just not worth anything. I have a theme park cup that we're just probably going to get rid of. I have two used phones that are not that exciting. Older. Um, I have a book. I haven't looked that up. My husband got this for free some kind of music thing. I think he said Led Zeppelin. I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong here. 
I have no idea. No. Anyway. No, Leonard Skinner. Sorry. This is something that I think came with music, but my husband said that there were more books. Um, I don't know. And then there's some hot hands and hot toes. Probably waiting for next winter to maybe list those. And a pair of used shorts. I have this same pair of shorts that I listed already that are brand new. Uh, my husband bought two pairs. He tried them. He did not like them. So the other pair is brand new and I listed it for sale. I thought about listing this pair with it, but I was confused by whether to list the item as new or used. Um, I didn't want the used pair to like basically hurt the sale of the new pair. So my husband promises me that he has, let me turn around, tons more stuff for me to list and that when I'm ready to list, he will um, make it available to me. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to take you out to see his space. Um, that's, he's still cleaning. He has a big garage and hopefully, um, I'll make a decision about what to do after I list these 50 free items in April. I'm excited to see now that I've kind of figured out some more stuff about eBay, uh, how, how well I can do because the first, um, I mean, it's only been since February 15th that I really started, and I can't remember. I'll try to put a screenshot up of my eBay that I took the other day, because it's been like a month and a half, and I've had quite a bit of sales, in my opinion. Um, I have 40-some active items right now. Um, like I said, I've sold nothing in the past four days, I think, now. But that's okay. Um, eBay's been a lot of fun to do, uh, and I'm not giving up or anything, but it's been fun getting into it, and um, I'm not too excited about being stuck at home, uh, schooling my children. I don't really mind schooling them, but, and I'm not like a big person to go out. We stay home a lot of the time. But I am concerned about the governmental control that is being enacted, and I understand the need for some safety, but I, I do not agree with all the decisions that are being made. And that's okay. Um, that's, we're not all going to agree on the decisions. So I just wanted to voice that. Maybe just to make myself feel better. But I just joined YouTube mostly to record my sales and to go over the numbers so that I can um, get them in my head for if I'm going to do this long term and I'm going to purchase things for sale, at what kind of purchase price do I need to be so that I'm actually making money and not losing money. But I also joined YouTube for the community and I've really enjoyed um, Patriot Picker has been a great supporter, and it's just just awesome to have people cheering you on. So, I enjoy that, and I enjoy watching some of you guys. I now have too many YouTubers that I follow to be able to watch all their videos, which is kind of sad. But, <clears throat> um, I enjoy when I do get to watch your videos. I don't get to watch all of them, especially now that my children are home every day, and I get interrupted quite a lot, but I thank you for watching, and next video, we'll have what's sold. Thanks. Bye.